In this video, we uncover untold truths about the life of Tanya Tucker, while also showing you some of her rare photos. Why did Tanya Tucker suddenly cancel her wedding to Jerry Lassiter just before walking down the aisle? How did her dermal abrasion treatment go horribly wrong, altering her iconic voice? How did she manage to make a triumphant return to country music after years of struggles? Follow along to find the answers. Tanya Tucker was born on October 10, 1958, in Seminole, Texas, USA. Her father worked as a heavy equipment operator, leading the family to frequently relocate in search of better job opportunities. During her early years, the family primarily resided in Wilcox, Arizona. In this small town, the only radio station available, KHIL, played country music. It was here that Tanya developed her profound love for music. At the tender age of six, she even began taking saxophone lessons, laying the foundation for her musical journey. Growing up, the Tucker family had a strong connection to country music. They attended concerts featuring notable country stars like Ernest Tubb and Mel Tillis. Tanya's sister, LaCosta, also demonstrated remarkable vocal talents, earning admiration within the family. When Tanya was only eight years old, she expressed her own aspirations to become a country singer like those she admired. Tanya's journey toward her musical career took a significant turn when she had the chance to perform with Mel Tillis. Her talent left a lasting impression on Tillis, who invited her to share the stage with him. In 1969, the Tucker family relocated to Henderson, Nevada, where Tanya continued to showcase her skills through regular performances. Her path to stardom gained momentum when she recorded a demo tape that caught the attention of songwriter Dolores Fuller. Fuller recognized Tanya's potential and sent the tape to Billy Sherrill, the head of artists and repertoire at CBS Records. Impressed by the demo, Sherrill signed the young singer to Columbia Records. Initially, Columbia tried to downplay Tanya's age to the public, but eventually, her remarkable talent couldn't be hidden and she became a sensation. Tanya Tucker was a mere 13 years old when she recorded the song that would become her breakthrough hit, Delta Dawn. This marked the beginning of a remarkable career that would see her rise to become a notable figure in the world of country music. In 1978, Tanya Tucker made a bold decision to transform her image and venture into the rock genre with her album TNT. This move brought about controversy due to the album's provocative cover and departure from her country roots. However, the album defied expectations by achieving gold status the following year, showcasing Tanya's versatility as an artist. Little did she know, challenging times were just around the corner. As the 1970s drew to a close, Tanya Tucker faced a decline in her album sales. By 1980, she experienced a drop in her chart-topping hits, with only two successful songs including Can I See You Tonight. Despite her earlier successes, the music industry landscape was changing and Tanya's career faced challenges. The pressures of the industry and the rigors of touring took a toll on Tanya's well-being. She began drinking in her late teens, attributing its start to the loneliness she felt on the road. The demanding schedule, coupled with the isolation of empty hotel rooms after performing for adoring crowds, led her down a path of self-medication through alcohol. In 1978, Tanya made a move to Los Angeles, attempting to expand her appeal to pop audiences. However, her efforts in this direction were met with limited success. While she was struggling with her career, Tanya became immersed in Los Angeles' nightlife scene. She candidly described herself as the wildest thing out there, staying out late, consuming excessive amounts of alcohol, and embracing a recklessness that pushed her to the edge. Tanya appeared calm on the outside, but it was obvious that she was going through a difficult time emotionally. As she was battling with her personal demons, Tanya Tucker found herself entangled in a complicated and headline-grabbing relationship with the iconic Glenn Campbell. One of the most striking aspects of their connection was the significant age difference, as Campbell was 22 years older than her. Their relationship became the subject of intrigue in celebrity articles and gossip columns, captivating the public's attention. Together, they embarked on musical collaborations that included songs like Dream Lover, showcasing their shared talents. Their partnership extended beyond music as they also performed the national anthem together at the 1980 Republican National Convention. The depth of their connection led to an engagement, although it was short-lived, ultimately resulting in a breakup. In an interview with Inside Edition, she reflected on the good times and acknowledged that jealousy imposed challenges for their relationship. 
she admitted that trust issues had strained their bond, with Campbell struggling to fully trust her. Glenn Campbell, on the other hand, recalled a few alarming incidents that stood out during their relationship. He claimed that she had once attempted to harm herself by slitting her wrists while under the influence. Another incident he recounted was her walking through a plate glass window. While he expressed admiration for her talent and wished her well in her future endeavors, he also characterized their relationship as poisoned and expressed regret for having been involved with her. As Tanya Tucker's personal struggles intensified, her career also took a significant hit. By the middle of 1983, her singles were no longer able to break into the top 40, marking a devastating period for both Tucker and her music career. This downturn in her career was particularly challenging to handle given her young age. Following her breakup with Glenn Campbell in 1982, Tanya Tucker made a significant life change by relocating to Nashville, where she sought solace and seclusion. The tumultuous end of her relationship with Campbell had left its mark, and Tanya began to retreat from the public eye, attempting to heal her wounded heart away from the spotlight. But it was a turning point in 1988 that would lead her towards a path of recovery and renewed success. With concern for her well-being, the family intervened and urged her to seek professional help for her struggles with addiction. In 1988, Tanya found herself at the Betty Ford Clinic, a renowned treatment center known for helping individuals overcome substance abuse. Her battle with alcohol and cocaine addiction was a deeply personal one, and in a candid interview with Rolling Stone in 2019, she opened up about her cocaine use as a misguided attempt to lose weight. As the years progressed, Tanya's life took a positive turn. In 1986, she signed with Capitol Records, a move that marked a pivotal moment in her career. One Love at a Time, a single from this era, climbed to number three on the charts, signaling her triumphant return. The release of the album, Girls Like Me, in 1986, brought her music to a broader audience, with four top 10 country singles emerging from its tracks. Her musical style evolved, embracing a country pop sound that resonated with audiences. This changeover caused a rebirth in her popularity, and between 1988 and 1989, Tanya experienced a remarkable period on the charts, achieving a string of eight consecutive country top 10 hits. And while she was enjoying this professional boom, she found love once again, but it was complicated. Her relationship with Jerry Lassiter, a Nashville musician, was popularly known for its on-again, off-again nature. The couple's engagement in 1997 and subsequent re-engagement in 1999 were accompanied by life-changing moments. Yet, just before their scheduled wedding in 1999, Tanya made the bold decision to cancel the ceremony upon learning of her pregnancy with Lassiter's daughter, Layla Lacosta, born on June 25, 1999. So she never got married nor experienced walking down the aisle. In 2012, Tanya Tucker faced another profound loss when her mother, Juanita, passed away. The weight of this loss, combined with the emotional toll of the years of ups and downs in her life, led Tanya into a state of depression. She took a much-needed break from the spotlight, stepping away from her music career for a couple of years to navigate her emotions and heal. However, the challenges didn't stop there. In a cruel twist of fate, Tanya endured a medical mishap that had a significant impact on her singing abilities. A routine dermal abrasion skin treatment went wrong, resulting in second and third degree burns on her face, in her nose, and down to her lungs. The aftermath of this accident not only left her physically scarred, but also changed her voice, making it a struggle for her to reach certain notes she once effortlessly sang. The experience led her into a deep depression, but she made efforts to regain her health and voice. Sadly, this was not the only battle she would fight. In 2016, Tanya faced additional health hurdles when she was diagnosed with fibromyalgia, Hashimoto's disease, low vitamin D levels, and hormonal imbalances. These conditions brought on chronic fatigue and depression, further testing her resilience. But Tanya made proactive choices to address her health. She started using supplements and modifying her diet to manage her health conditions and retain her strength. Despite the setbacks and health challenges, Tanya Tucker's spirit remained unbroken. Her determination to overcome adversity propelled her forward. But in 2021, she faced yet another obstacle when she suffered a hip fracture that required surgery. This setback led her to cancel all of her scheduled concerts for that year as she focused on her recovery. With steadfast courage, proving her resilience and dedication to her music and business, Tanya Tucker overcame these difficulties. Her return to the stage and the recording studio 
marked a triumphant comeback. She continued to share her music with the world, embarking on tours and rekindling her connection with her fans. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out our other videos of beautiful actresses from the yesteryears on the end screen.